How you feeling? Good. How about you? Good. Yeah, yeah good. I had a good uh, had a good breakfast. You know, we eating good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a fat man. What are you doing? Just you know, faded. Sorry. <laughs> Chewing drugs like Pac Man. Ate this. Stop it. TMG. <laughs> Don't do it. No more. No more. We're done. What do you mean? What do you think I'm doing? Don't I'm not do just having, just having a conversation. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that what it is? If you're not fucking with it, you can yeah. take a walk, man. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Did you say take a walk? Take a walk, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to push my fucking buttons. You don't buttons, want to push so my you... buttons. <laughs> I hate this. I hate it, too. Yeah. You know this song is almost gold. I think it honestly, if we checked, it might be. That's crazy because it sucks. Yeah. That, <laughs> that, this, seeing the lyrics on screen like this is a pretty blunt reminder. Yeah. How song is bad the ass. All right, yeah, let's just start the episode. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Sh- yeah, sure to jump in the front. Right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website. Holy fuck, Jamie! You'll be in the clip of that deer and get hit by that car. Let's live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, oh, gay as fuck. <laughs> So-called flying stuffing. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, did you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. A little tired today. Because mm-hmm. I woke up 4.30 a.m. Nice. Let me tell you why. Okay. I woke up at 4.30 a.m. Okay. Today. That's early, that's early for me, you know? Yeah. Like, I usually, I thought I was an early riser. Yeah. I thought that would be, like, you know, normally for me, it's, like, 5.45. Right. When I'm on schedule, that's my, like, natural wake-up time. So, 4.30 should have been slam dunk. No, it was hard. Oh, I was saying, were you saying you were expecting that 4.30 you would be able to? No, I was saying that's, even, even I saw that time and I was like, fuck. Okay. Like, I set my alarm and I was like, this is not going to be pleasant. Right. You know, it's like waking up early for the for a flight or something. Yeah. What time did you go to sleep? Well, I mean, I was like, we were celebrating Kelsey's birthday last night with her parents, so mm. we were out in the valley, so it was an hour drive back, so I went to bed at like 1030. Okay. Right? But anyways, I'll tell you why. You made happened. that sound like you went to bed at midnight. <laughs> you know, we had, it was, it was lit. It was going up, went to bed around 915. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we partied all night. Yeah. Like late into the evening. Yeah. And then it was an hour drive back on top of that. Right. So by the time I actually made it to bed, yeah. it must have been 9, 9.30. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. So you're about rewind. to pass out at 10.30 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Which sorry. is like, yeah. Rewind. Late. Said, yeah. Okay, yeah, rewind to last week, right? My friend texts me and he goes, he like puts me in a group text with this guy and he's like, Yo, Cody, meet so and so. So and so, meet Cody. You guys both live in Venice. I know you'd fucking kill it together or something like that. <laughs> you guys gotta meet up or something, right? Yeah. And generally, I like meeting people. You know, you mm-hmm. never know what'll come from making a new relationship. Yeah. So I was receptive. I was like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And uh, these two guys, they come from the tech world, right? Okay. So they're very like tech. And the dude was like, he texted me offline and he said, uh, bro, good to meet you, man. Thursday, what do you say we go for a walk? <laughs> and I was like, a walk? And he's yeah, let's go for a walk. Take a walk. Together. Take- <laughs> what if this whole thing was just a lead up to the, the same fucking so joke? So I'm in Topanga. <laughs> I'm feeling like Corey Ann. <laughs> And I was a little drunk from last night, you know, so I'm, so I'm switching lanes, you know. I'm just cutting this dude off. I'm like, sorry, man. 
Anyway, so I stole Dave, this dude's bitch. That should be kind of a. That could be a funny running bit, actually. What? Just if, dropping if in? That's like the new D's nuts. Yeah. Because we both have to like get each other like entranced in a story, and then it ends up just being like oh. our version of oh. Rick Roll, which is. Uh. <laughs> I, I tell will, the guy. I will take a walk. Oh, you fucker! I'll jump through a rope with <laughs> just my head <laughs> on set. <laughs> All right, so you're in Topanga, like. So no, he so he says let's go on a walk, and I was like, okay, I'm down to take a walk. Mm-hmm. I was like, sure. This is the most like Silicon Valley thing ever, but let's do it. So we went, we went, I went, I went like essentially on like a mandate with this guy. We went on a walk together. We walked for like an hour. Mm -hmm. We talked. We honestly got along great, but he was like, we're talking about training and I'm telling him about the race I'm training for and everything like that. And he's like, bro, you got to see my trainer. You got to see my trainer. I go to him every day. He's Kanye West's trainer. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah. He wait, he, he trains Kanye West every day at 4.30 a.m. And Kanye pays him $1,000 every day. I was like, okay, no part of this sounds like it's true at all. Yeah. So I'm like, sure. Yeah, he's like, I work out with him 20 minutes every day. Put on 16 pounds of muscle in the last, like, two months. I was like, okay, sure. I mean... Yeah, I'd love to work out with this guy. Yeah. You know? We're like small talking, so I'm just kind of like, all right, let's move on to the next thing. Yeah. So we finished the mandate, and he texts me this guy's... He, he, the next day, he puts me in a group chat with this trainer. And he's like, um, yo, meet Cody. Cody, meet so-and-so. He really wants to get in and do a workout with you. Keep in mind, like, I just got a fucking coach. Yeah. And he's giving me Ironman workouts yeah. all week. But, like, the Canadian have, you are, you're like, I will pay $1,000 a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to... I definitely wasn't expecting to pay $1,000, but I was like, you know, I felt kind of I felt kind of like I owed this. Like, I don't know why, but I was like, I think I should probably follow up and meet up with this guy. I told the guy I would do it. I'm trying to stop lying. So I respond I respond to the trainer and I'm like, hey, so man. so good, man. The trainer texts me offline, like off the group chat, and he goes, hey, man. Uh, just tried calling you, couldn't get in contact with you, really want to set up a time for us to like get a workout on this week, so let's do it. <laughs> and this was on Sunday. And so on Sunday, I text him back, and I say, yeah, man, let's do it. What time do you normally work out at? You know, kind of just like a softball, sort of like just move the conversation along but not commit to anything. Mm-hmm. And he goes, tomorrow, 5 a.m., I'll see you at this address. And then he sends some quote about how like winners do what losers don't or something like that. That's so <laughs> and then with good. this emoji. That's so good. You so got was like fucking punk. Oh my <laughs> like, god, dude. I was like, God damn it, now I have to go. I oh, have to do it. What a racket. What am I gonna say to that? Yeah. Oh, actually, actually tomorrow's no good for me. He's like, Well, I knew you were a loser. Nah, that's player as hell. And he's like, he sends you that quote, you're like, nah. Yeah, but wouldn't you feel like a loser then? Nah, I'd be like, you just lost a thousand dollars. I'm out. I mean, but it, I I didn't read it in a malicious way. It was more just like, a, no, this I is know. it. This I is know. like, this is the time I do it at. If you're, I'm a me, I'm a real hustler. <laughs> and if you don't want to wake up and meet me at five a.m., then you're a loser. If you're genuinely asking me, I think I would, without a question, be like, ah, sorry, you sent that quote, man. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> See, to me, I read that as like a challenge. I was like, you don't, mm. oh, you don't fucking think that I wake up it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Oh, I will see you there at 5 a.m. Yeah. And 5 so- a.m., I bet you that, I bet you 99% of people would have been like, no, I'm not doing it that early. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not going to be that. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to show him. <laughs> I'm going to show him. I want to make, I'm going to make my man boyfriend proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. He took me on that date. He set this up for me. I want to make him proud. I want to. I want to look him in the face next time we go on a walk together mm-hmm. and be like, "I did it. I met up with that guy. I trained with him." Right. So you got it before thirty. I did. I got it before thirty. I went and met him at the address. He had like little like home gym set up. Yeah. He was in a parking lot. Sick. And it was exactly what the dude said. It was twenty minutes of like the most intense, just no breaks at all. Every mm. part of the body. Mm. And then he was telling me about training Kanye. The whole time? And then he was telling me about nu- nutrition. It actually was awesome. And it was like five till six. Um, I didn't pay him a thousand bucks. I paid, paid him less than that, but still way too much. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then 
that was that. So wait, wait, wait. So I worked out with Kanye's trainer. Wait, so it was a 20-minute workout over the course of an hour? Yeah, it was, a tw- it was an hour-long 20 minutes. It was... <laughs> Five to six, 20 minutes. It was 20 minutes of working out and 40 minutes of, of talking. Talking, yeah. That's what I was... Gonna, yeah. Yeah. Got it. He's selling you the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And so after the fact, I'm... You effectively went to, like, a timeshare meeting for working out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Now, we've got great residents <laughs> moving into this yeah, community. Basically. basically. Uh, you can be a part of this for the low, low price of $7,000 a minute. It was so funny. And then, and then so afterwards, basically, I'm like, how much do I owe you, man? And he told me how much. I'm not going to say how much because I don't want to, like, put this guy on... Sure, sure. Like that, right? He actually does train a lot of people oh, I believe in the it. industry he says he trains like 40 people a day or something like I that I believe at, at 20 and minute one hours you can get so many <laughs> so many and a lot of people done. he says he, you know a lot of people like his services Kanye really does I guess and yeah. uh so anyways I text this guy afterwards and I was like yo man I got in with the trainer and uh and I was like how much do you pay him because like he you know I paid him a lot of money and I, I don't really think it and he was like well I pay him this much annually he gives him an annual payment He's like, but I see him more as a life coach and not as a fitness trainer. I was like, this is the most L.A. shit of all time. Throw away your money type. I mean, it, time. yeah, I mean, it could be, but I also, like, if you need that sort of, like, I mean, it's, like, kind of like a therapist, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, you, I mean, you, I don't know. You can also go to just again. more plates, more dates on YouTube. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Just learn about supplements and go pound weight at an Equinox for 150 I don't know. I watched his... uh Zac Efron video this morning. I haven't yet. He, I mean, it's funny. He just like sits down and talks for one thing about one thing for thirty five minutes, and I'm just like enthralled. It's because of he's just how he retains that information and puts it back out into the world. Yeah, he could lie for forty minutes straight. I believe all of it. Yeah, just the, the way he presents himself. Yeah. That's that's sick, dude. Yeah, I'm so, I'm I'm happy. You continue to really dig into. The West Side LA experience. <laughs> I mean, that's if you're gonna live here, you know, you might as well do that shit. Yeah, I I literally was like, ah, oh, this at least this will make a good story for the podcast. <laughs> at least I'll be able to. Yeah, say no, you're paying for content on the podcast that I trained with Kanye's trainer. No, I've and you know me, if there's a celebrity involved, yeah, you're there. If I can name drop even a little bit, dude, he put that Kanye like a piece of cheese in a fucking milk crate, <laughs> yeah, and you right. just ran straight to it, and he shut you in there. <laughs> Like, it'll one, be a thousand dollars to get out. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> fucking, you make fun of me all all you want, but I'm one degree of separation. That's true. Away from the goat. Yeah. So, no, it was. I literally woke up at four thirty, went train with this guy, got back at like five fifty, mm-hmm. and just went right back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Slept till eight. And you woke up and you're like, and then I woke up and did my fucking two hour bike ride. I was gonna it was say the workout that I had to do that today. That dude's gonna text you next week. So what's up, man? We we back in this week or he what? He already texted me. He's like trying to line one up for Wednesday, but I'm like, I don't. I can't wait for you to. How are you gonna worm out of there? I'm probably not. I don't like confrontation, so I'm just gonna. You gotta handle it, man. I'm just gonna get back in with him. I'm just gonna start doing two days every day, <laughs> one with Kanye's trainer, and one with the Iron Man guy. Just, you're gonna be so tired. And then I'm fucking going to commit to something else. I need you to handle this so you don't show up to these episodes tired. <laughs> You're going to be exhausted. I can see it in, in like, your eyes now. I'm going to get in like fucking just got back from my bocce session. Yeah. <laughs> bocce? I uh, committed. Someone asked me to do it. I'm in a bocce ball league. <laughs> I'm in a league now. I'm training super hard. Uh, and, you know, we got this and we got cornhole in the winter. So it's just like a lot I got to get ready for, man. Where are you going after this? Kite surfing lessons. What? I'm exhausted, man. My Cody Co- body is breaking down. Cody dude. Co uh, breaks back after being launched 40 <laughs> feet in the air from windsurfing. Here's a clip now. It's yeah. just you on TMZ, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Cody so, Co breaks uh, shin bone playing goat hockey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Waleed said, <laughs> was you got to learn to embrace other cultures. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I got to get out of my bubbles. So we just flew to Afghanistan and we played goat hockey. Now I'm in a goat hockey league. It's really intense. I actually have to quit the podcast for three months because I committed to this league and like they said, it's not fair if I'm not training with them every day. So like I got to end my YouTube channel. I'm, I don't really know what I'm going to do. 
Damn, bro, you just got bullied into that. Yeah. I mean, whatever. It's a, it's a workout. It was a workout. I yeah. got a workout in. That's true. I'd feel good. That's true. I'd probably look jacked. Yeah. And I can tell you gained 14 pounds of muscle <laughs> from that one workout. Just that singular workout. Um, yeah, whatever, dude. How would I I'm fucking playing bocce with Kanye West. Yeah, that sounds like a horrible and experience. You- what just, do you mean? He's just sitting there jabbering about clothes and like money, and you just have to listen. You're like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He's like, am I gap deal on yeah. Adidas? And I'm like, dude, I'm just. Can we just throw the ball next to the other ball? Yeah, I'm. I'm technically one degree from him by way of two people. Who? Oh, you like like a music person? A music person, and then a tech person. <clears throat> yeah, didn't you like worked with this like a mix guy? Yeah, a mix guy who worked on one of his albums. Yeah. And what was the second one? Um. A developer who works for a large tech company. Oh. And they were negotiating something with Kanye, so he went to the ranch. Oh, right. Okay. They both been to the ranch, and they both told me, you should work out more. <laughs> yeah. That's what this means, probably. You get in the... I think, my, I think I'm a little overtrained. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you just you, are you just hot from all the workouts you did today? Yeah, you just got a cool. Off. Yeah, I ran here. Yeah, <laughs> nice to the portal, and yeah. then I yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we got it. You ran in space. Yeah, you defy. Yeah, gravity. I put on the suit, and I was <laughs> floating back here. Just what's he doing? Space elliptical. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. Just kill. Yeah, it. you guys will all be laughing when I fucking bring Kanye in here next week. <laughs> I hope so. With the trainer. That'd be and great. We do sit-ups for a cold open. And me and Mike Dean can sit here and smoke cigarettes. <laughs> Look at these assholes. So anyways, yeah, I felt a little bit like Chet Hanks today waking up at 4.30 a.m. That boy. We did watch uh, a video of his in the bonus last week, mm-hmm. which I don't know if you guys follow him, but um, his Instagram stories are something to behold. And there was actually a TikTok this week of him speaking at a recovery it's called Recovery Day in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I guess this is like part of his like uh, shtick now that he's like sober and really into working out is that he goes, he gets like booked for speaking gigs and he'll talk about recovery and being sober and stuff. Headlining spot, man. <clears throat> exactly. And so this is him giving a speech at Recovery Day in Winnipeg, Manitoba. So you know, it's just speaking of hot, I like shaved. And every time I breathe, it's like hot on my lip. <laughs> I've never felt this sensation before. I think I'm having a stroke. Is this a song lyric? <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just feeling it the whole time we're talking. Every time I exhale, I just, it's like hot. Cause you shaved? You've shaved many times. Yeah, I know. I've shaved before. I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe I need some water. I don't know. Or maybe you are having a stroke. Yeah. It's like weird. What? No. That didn't make any sense. What? <laughs> Speaking Spanish to the valet? <laughs> <laughs> Don't, you motherfucker. Stop changing it to these lyrics. Yeah, I hate it. What yeah. song was that? Was that Walkman? It was just a Walkman. No, look. This clip of Chet, I saw it without the context. So I just thought he was up on stage at a Christian music festival or something. <laughs> I I I I actually initially thought this wasn't even an active show. I thought it was maybe just a stage they were setting up somewhere and he just hopped up there and was doing his thing. Yeah. And people were just gathering for miscellaneous reasons, yeah. you know, who is this dude talking? Can, can we can we maybe get some context on what recovery day is? Can you just google that real quick? I think it's like uh in Detroit, they made a holiday for Eminem's album, Recovery. <laughs> and so it's just like Eminem fans come together. Then it's kind of expanded from Detroit into like Winnipeg. Oh, sick. That sounds awesome. Yeah. yeah. That sounds awesome. Kind of makes sense that Chet would be mm-hmm. speaking then. Yeah. Celebrate recovery. So it's like Coachella for sober people. Who have gotten sober. Yeah. <laughs> Zoom in. <clears throat> Enhance? Enhance. Discovery Day is a national movement committed Discovery to... Day. I mean, Recovery Day, Jesus Christ. 
is a national movement committed to mobilizing and organizing Canadians in recovery from addiction and addiction-related problems. Mm. Our mission is to build awareness, challenge so, uh, societal stigma, and celebrate in the role that recovery plays in improving life for individuals, families, communities, cities, and countries. Okay, so it seems like a pretty wholesome thing. Yeah. Right? Trying to uplift the community. Wait, what kind of what kind, can I can you reopen that previous events? I want to see what that is because they're showing fencing. Is that what that is? Yeah, and that's just a. I think that's a brilliant way if you're in recovery to be dealing with maybe some of that pent up energy. Yeah, I just actually got a fencing coach myself. <laughs> is that you in the thumbnail? <laughs> okay, scroll down. Let's just see. I thought there was just going to be more pictures. <clears throat> Um, Play that video, maybe. It's an hour long. <laughs> yeah, let's let's watch it all the way through. Okay, yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, fuck it. Let's watch three minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to That's Cringe Recovery Day. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about people recovering from drugs. <laughs> Just stop. Well, that's what the D.A.R.E. program did. <laughs> yeah. Just True. say no. True. Hell yeah. Don't let Ian Connor hear this loop. <laughs> Ian Connor, or just any like <laughs> cloud rapper from that era. <laughs> yeah, Machine Gun Kelly, don't let him hear this shit. <laughs> Recovery. <laughs> I drew blood from a high schooler. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I drew blood from an emo girl <laughs> It's chill, she just turned 18 <laughs> Not too much, sorry So what, it, what is... They got him doing open mics? What is, what is going on here, man? That's fucked up, man <laughs> Okay, so... I this mean, is this... Dale, he's in recovery, he's gonna do five minutes Yeah. <laughs> he just gets up there, he's just doing stand-up What the... It, what is this Tai Chi... Is this on stage in front of people? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. All right. This is like what they do in church when they're like, "All right." Fresh. All right. When you're ready to see okay, okay. So, anyways, you get it, right? This is the normal type of programming you'd expect to see at Recovery Day. Yeah, it's got intention. It's got intention, exactly. So mm. now go to Chet Hanks <laughs> and his speech. Oh no, wait, pause. Wait before we even hear this. Imagine the thought process, right? So they kind of got these miscellaneous local performers, you know. <clears throat> oh, we got this pastor who really cares, and he kind of does this demonstration about, like, strength and what it means. It's like a nice visual, and we, we find it has a – okay, yeah. We also got this, like, acoustic singer. Um, he's been through it, and, you know, he's got a great personal story, and I, I, we find that it resonates with, you know, ticket buyers. and uh, okay. So o overall, it just kind of, like, has a strong impact. Yeah. And recently I've been in touch with Chet Hanks' agent. <laughs> is that who, who is that? Oh, he's an actor. He's the son of Tom Hanks. Oh, Tom Hanks. So we feel that this would just draw a lot of attention. You know, so we're just going to have him is, speak. For, is he in recovery? He is. Okay. <laughs> or has been. Okay. He is sober though, right? We believe. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, he could probably bring in... You know, some much needed clout, I guess. Yeah. In terms of raising awareness for Recovery Day and just Winnipeg as a city in general. Right. So we booked him for just a, just a you know, quick ten minute spot. An inspirational type thing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's let's listen to it. Raise your hand if you got a problem with the word God. You got a problem with the word God? Get the fuck over yourself. <laughs> And I mean that with love, brother. <laughs> and for people listening, there was like a little caption that popped up that said, this is a family-friendly event. <laughs> and like in, in the next little part, you'll see a dad like walk up to the stage and go, hey man, can you stop swearing? Like my kids are here. And he's like, fuck your kids. <laughs> this shit is hard as hell, bro. Listen to this. If you want to drink fucking knockoff RC Cola or a real motherfucking Coke? Every step that led me to here on this stage, talking to you guys, 
It's through the grace of God. Yeah, okay. Take your kids. Watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Come on up here, buddy. I don't think you can. I love it. What? What? <laughs> Come on up here, buddy. I don't think you can. Threatening why, to Why do you get southern? Is that... <laughs> I mean that with love, brother. Get the fuck over yourself. Get the fuck over yourself. I mean that with love, Jump brother. in front of a truck. I mean that with love. <laughs> what? Hold on. Let's run that back. Yeah. Can we run that back? Yeah. See? I just like 10 seconds. <laughs> this sounds like a wrestling <laughs> promo, dude. You got a problem with God? <laughs> like, get the fuck over yourself. And then, again, for people listening, there's like, it's probably eight people in the audience and it's like it's like five moms yeah and a couple dads maybe yeah. a couple kids you know one and person, everyone's there. one person there is going crazy just the yo yeah yo, is chet in this motherfucker dude? <laughs> yeah <laughs> these people don't even know what they're witnessing right now <laughs> this is history dog dude this is chet motherfucking yo, the Hank. fucking goat is on stage right now <laughs> the recovery goat <laughs> Can you stop cussing me? Yo, shut the fuck up, dude. Let when Chet's on stage, Chet does his thing. Yeah, so shut the fuck up, and I mean that with love. Get the fuck over yourself. Chet is the sober goat. <laughs> Every step that led me to here on this stage, talking to you guys, is through the grace of God. Yeah. Okay. Take yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like Stone Cold, bro. Your kids, watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> I love how innocent of a request that is too. It's like, hey man, my kids are in the audience. Can you just stop Fuck your swearing? <laughs> yeah, watch. Why don't you watch your fucking mouth, buddy? I am. I don't swear in front of my kids. Can you not? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Come up here, buddy. Get up here. Let's see who's more sober. I don't think you can. Let's hear the rest of this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he does it twice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. See, I'm used to this shit, you guys. Pardon my language for the children, but I speak from the heart and I speak bluntly. If you don't want your... I speak bluntly and I speak blunted. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of blunts. <laughs> this is from the earth. God put it there. Get the <laughs> fuck over yourself. This isn't substance. <laughs> going to be exposed to profanity. Just take them somewhere else right now. <laughs> just take them somewhere else, dude. I just sent a TikTok that I want to watch after this, but yeah, sorry. Take them somewhere else. Just leave the concert. <laughs> well, I didn't share that with anybody. I tried to blend in and not have anybody. I never advertised that shit. I don't want anybody to know because I just wanted to be treated like everybody else. But I'm telling you now, and if you guys are looking at me right now, and you're thinking, oh man, you probably think he's so much fucking better than me. Fuck this guy. Like that kook that was up here a few seconds ago. Damn. I don't care today. I don't care. If you think that about me today, I don't care. It is what it is. Yeah, this is the time. The time is right now. The place is right now. How do, how do you... I don't care. Damn, just... How do you clear the dance floor of a recovery festival? Bro, he... I feel like people there are pretty forgiving. Yeah. No, that's what I was about to say. He he walked in outdoor space. Yeah. Incredibly difficult task. Wow. And the way he was pacing, too. Does that not stress you out? Yeah, I think Chet needs to take a walk. <laughs> um Sorry, I was just sizing it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't. Luke, God damn it. He pulls every time yeah, he pulls it, the lyrics. It, it's funny. It's it's a good bit, Luke. It's it funny. Is, Keep it's doing that. like that. Um, no, yeah. It's crazy that he just... Uh, what the fuck is his energy? Everything about it is so insane. It all, I almost wonder if he's deep down embarrassed that there's not a lot of people there to see him. So yeah. So he just tried to compensate for that by being strange as hell like on 10 yeah like, i'm just gonna say what the fuck i want to say it, i mean i think it's also like he wants to make it seem like he's super passionate speaking yeah. from the heart so he's like unfiltered because it's, you know he can't deal with that because mm -hmm. it's like this is truth mm -hmm. you know 
<laughs> Sorry. It's like, dude, you got to know your audience, though, you know? Also, it's Winnipeg. Well, to your point, yeah. yeah. Like, we these can... people are, you know, it's Winnipeg. They, yeah, they, they, these people were addicted to, like, pen ink. Yeah. Probably. I mean, yeah. It's a dark place. <laughs> Winnipeg? Yeah. Let's see what... I wonder what the what the drug usage is in Winnipeg. It's a lot of meth, I think. Is it? Yeah. Let's find out. Um, this is just last year. Carfentanil. Yeah, that, I, I doubt I, it. F- fentanyl is like everywhere though. But yeah, <clears throat> fentanyl, meth, cocaine. Yeah, to your point about being stressed out, I'd be anxious as hell if some tatted up dude is just like. Yeah, walking back and forth. Yeah, like, exactly. And, like, this is clearly it's the morning, you know? So you're, you're imagine you wake up, you're like, oh, man, I'm ready to be. The fuck up. <laughs> I'm like, you walk into this venue with your coffee. You're like, I, I really am looking to be inspired today. Like, I want to be around other people that are recovering. I want to hear about, like, you know, that it gets easier. Stop talking. <laughs> Don't fucking say shit, buddy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was just saying I'm excited that yeah. to, you know, be sober and I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> and I say that with love, bro. What? I'll fucking I'll hit your whole family with a tractor and I say that with love, bro. <laughs> Get over yourself. <laughs> yeah, no, I I feel it. I think it's such a you know the the promoter, whoever booked him, is standing backstage thinking, "Oh boy, <laughs> yeah, oh fuck, oh boy, how much do you think he got paid for this? Thirty k, forty <laughs> grand? They paid him something absurd. You think so? Yeah, no way. D- Come on, it's Chet. Yeah, but they probably don't even have that big of a budget. They may not. Yeah, may- maybe that's why. Yeah, they say, "Hey man, we'll give you eight. Dollars. Like I, yeah, I bet, I bet you this is something where Chet is like, yeah, I'm gonna do this because then I can, you know, it's like bolsters his roster or his like resume yeah. as a speaker. Right. It's like I can then say I'm a professional speaker. Holy shit, dude. He, the way he walks, man, he's. It, I thought he's gonna start battle rapping. <laughs> I fully thought he's gonna be up there. He's like, I say, yo, the needle, you know, just yeah. That shit is so funny, man. <laughs> I just can't get over yeah all these moms showing up like yeah we're here to spend some time you know we're we're just showing solidarity for Stacy you know she's really going through it and uh yeah so we figure why not bring her around some people who've been through it before you believe in god <laughs> just damn <laughs> depressing yeah. bro yeah yeah Nobody there is chewing drugs like Pac-Man. <sighs> so. What sauce is that? That you I don't know. Was that on the shelf? Yeah. What is that? Oh, it's like uh, grenadine or something? Orange bitters. That's a sick logo. Yeah. Good branding. You like that? <clears throat> yeah, I do. I was going to make a recovery joke, <laughs> but I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. <laughs> How's your nose doing? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Uncalled for, bro. That could have been me in that fucking, <laughs> in that audience. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm also not in recovery. <laughs> Using what? <laughs> Your time for fitness. This is going to become a thing. <laughs> People are going to like, next time somebody like writes something about me, they're going to be like, yeah, past uh, cocaine <laughs> addicted. <laughs> now in recovery from crippling cocaine addiction. Well, now that we've signed up for PR, I have to give them something to do. <laughs> yeah. I have to give them something to combat. <laughs> All right, so I'm just making sure you get your money's worth by staining your image a little bit so they have some shit to work on. 
<laughs> There's a lot about you doing cocaine. Why is there or... so much media <laughs> about you in the last day? It's on like... your own show too. It just keeps being brought up. And there's also like 90 articles that just spawned on like small blog sites <laughs> and stuff. Uh, yeah. Like your rampant cocaine use. What's going on, Cody? <laughs> I don't have co- <laughs> Cody. We have this great event in winnipeg and we feel like you could really benefit <laughs> you speak at it i think it would really help your image <laughs> and then you're just up there like I don't know I don't know. no i'm up backstage and i'm like how the fuck do i follow chet hanks yeah he's murdering right now <laughs> he's, he's literally killing <laughs> he's the room killing the room <laughs> everyone's leaving he's doing such a good job yeah <clears throat> maybe you know what maybe this is no nah, i'm not even gonna play devil's advocate but I was just imagining this serves as like some unintentional high art thing where he goes up there and he acts like a psycho. Yeah, and then like someone, Shia LaBeouf. And someone watches him and says, yeah, I got to I gotta get the fuck off fentanyl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to end up like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah, I got to. Yeah. This is objectively insane. That that woman in the audience that went, what? What? Yeah. Reminded me <laughs> of this video. Did, did you see this one? The one of Mariah Carey? Oh, you, dude. You're, dude. <laughs> You did see this? I, I I watched it and then I saved it because I figured we would get into incredible. it. Incredible. I'm glad you brought this up. Yeah. We, none of us have a unique personality. We're all watching the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, 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 no. Well, you don't want to hear about 9 11. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Those, the, what? Wait, what the fuck? Perfect. I need a compilation of that. <laughs> Perfect. Of crowd reactions to celebrities <laughs> people saying just dumb being, shit. There's no funnier emotion than people being confused. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, that was clearly just out of nowhere. And after that little riff she does, no, no, no. no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> okay, okay, well, if you don't hear about 9 11. What? what? <laughs> Do the Nobody? Christmas song. What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> and the best part is let it let it play. She just doesn't she moves on. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to talk a little bit about this moment. Like she just moves like she and she starts like introing the next song. That's <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk a little bit about this moment. It's just the twin towers on the big monitor. Bush did it. Everyone's like, "Whoa." What? <laughs> what? She does that and then Oh, based Mariah based damn it I didn't know Mariah was based <laughs> just starts going all over Twitch and Mariah Carey based no 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 I guess you don't want to hear about that can we hear it again can we hear it again no 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 well you don't want to hear about 9-11 she says it no like... no play play oh, sorry wait what the fuck <laughs> wait what the fuck <laughs> that gap that it takes him to process it <laughs> run it back it's perfect it's and, perfect and literally everyone shut the fuck up because <laughs> they doubt themselves first they're like am i not getting this and then they're like wait no this doesn't make sense no 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 well you don't want to hear about 9 11 <laughs> Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, I like how she says it like it's the audience's fault. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you don't want to hear about 9-11, I had this whole what thing if, prepared, but yeah, I guess yeah. if you don't want to hear about <laughs> like, it. Like, what if we do? <laughs> I'm actually kind of down for that. <laughs> I just picture <laughs> Jack, dude. Now, this next song, before I get into it, you know, sometimes things fall apart. Two towers fell apart. <laughs> 21 years ago they was hit with something major kind of like i was hit with something major when i did this song <laughs> it's called what's popping <laughs> that's so funny jesus christ 9 11 transitions for artists <laughs> I think that's you know, just, a lot of people say jet fuel can't melt steel beams. <laughs> I think that's just a Toby Keith concert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, holy shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> I guess you want to hear about 9-11. What? 
<laughs> we could go on about this forever, Ow, bro. It's so funny. This is the funniest thing ever. <clears throat> See, Chet, Chet went on too long. Chet should have did his music and yeah, in yeah. between <laughs> yeah. have these little rants. Then it might have gone over a little bit better. Who here has a problem with God? Put your hand up. Now keep it up. Yeah. Because we're about to get into this next one. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> called White Boy Summer. Yeah, it's called White Boy Summer. <laughs> <laughs> Where my white boys at? <laughs> keep it up. You got a problem with God? Yeah. Get your hand up. Now keep, keep it there. Keep it up. <laughs> keep that shit up. It's hot out here, isn't it? Yeah. Hot as hell. Too hot. Looks like this is a white boy summer. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Shit hangs in front of 15 <laughs> people. We here have a problem with God. Get your hand up. Three hands. Keep them up. Okay. Okay, why? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? What? We're going to get copyrighted for this. <laughs> <laughs> Be a shame if he claimed this episode and made all the money. Yeah. It. That's right. You get a bag. These bitches want to take it from you, right? What? I don't even remember that song. It's a banger. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Can we just... Can I just... So I got a wait. Hold on, I got a I got a story for you. By the way, yeah. I met a bad little shoddy uh, at a party dance, um, and uh, I kid you not, it, it, she's getting to the bag like it was her only chance, and I mean, just rich bitch, right? Yeah. Known to run up them bands. You like the story so far? Yeah, it's good. No, this is great, man. Well, she said fuck it, and she went and made an OnlyFans. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyways, hot boy, white boy summer. So. <laughs> <laughs> white boy summer, bro. All right, let's uh, let's. Okay, this is another thing I wanted to show you. Yeah, you got a lot this week because like, there's so much funny shit that I was finding that I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to talk about this. Did you know the CEO of Goldman Sachs is a fucking EDM DJ? That makes sense. How does that make any sense? Uh, rich guys like that music. Pull up a picture of him. David Solomon. Let's pull up his uh, Spotify picture. Or maybe it's just like his Google, <clears throat> like the first image of him on Google Images. This guy. Does it still make sense? <laughs> Let's see him in casual. Cl see that? I can see it. I can see it right there. Well, yeah, because he's in DJ. He's a no, no, no. But I just mean his his body You're type. It. He's got a um, weird vinyl collector body. E even there, even there. Weird vinyl collector. Yeah, you know, like he uh, he's American. I picture him like being some English guy, deep in fucking <laughs> in like Leeds or something. Yeah, but okay, so you're thinking, so what, ty what type of like EDM are you thinking about then? Like some like deep house. His is like pretty classic cookie cutter house music. Like just main stage at a festival as the sun, going, as the sun is going down, like that type of music. <laughs> Holy shit. And but so there was an article recently about how the board or something or the employees at Goldman Sachs are worried about him using company resources to like build his personal brand because he'll go to like board meetings and then right after he'll take the jet to like a headlining performance. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Bro, he's quiet quitting. <laughs> That's it. Good. Quiet yeah. quitting in this motherfucker. Plays music, plays music. It Let's... fucking slaps. Of course it does. What I went out for a run it, oh, this weekend. I was like uh, down in San Clemente. You did not run to Goldman Sachs Music. I was like, okay, I, I'm just going to... It was on my Spotify because <laughs> I was searching for it. And I was starting my run, so I was like, all right, let's see what he's got. I played it. I listened to it for the entire hour. So he, he's the one making their hold music then. Yeah. Like we just, you're on the line now. Wait for your next... You call Goldman Sachs? Yeah, when I check my fucking gigantic <laughs> bank balance. Yeah, dude. When you I call... rich as fuck. Yeah, when I call them... that... I'm like, yo, how are my 100 bars of gold? And they're like, oh, they're still here. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, okay. Perfect. 
Yo, dude, this is crazy. CEO of Goldman Sachs next to Aloe Black. What is happening? I was bro? talking with my friend. I was like, "Do you know? Do you know this?" David Solomon, CEO of Goldman Sachs, is a DJ. He goes, "Oh yeah, DJ Diesel." I saw. Oh, him. that's his name. Yes, he's I've like, heard that. I saw him play a show in Cabo. He's fucking killed it. Yes. I was like, "How is this? This is not normal. You can't act like this. Is this is fucking bizarre?" I mean, at this point, fuck it. Yeah, I mean, humanized billionaires, dude. How's he not gotten kidnapped? He what? How has he not gotten kidnapped? I mean, I guess he's not like, he's just the CEO. You know what I mean? Yeah, he makes a fuck ton of money <clears throat> for sure. Yeah, well, but he's Look up not... his net worth. Let's see what we got here. What do you, what's your guess? I'm uh, guessing 250 million. Yeah, I was going to say like 300 mil. Three, I'll, I'll, I'll go <clears throat> I'll go 350 just to make it spicy. <laughs> Survey Let's... says. Are we out of touch? What? Mm, no, it's. It's definitely not 1.5 million. His salary is probably alone like. Oh, that's 80. We're. Oh, so we're oh 81.5. Okay, so a little lower. We're not very good at this game. Yeah, seriously, we are out of touch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think our perceptions of things are off. Did we joke sure. about that? What? We should do an episode where it's how out of touch you are as a rich person. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's kind of what I was trying to... No, I'm saying, like, how out of touch are you to rich people shit? Oh, sure, sure. You know? Yeah. Like, how much is, like, caviar? Isn't it, like, 500 to 1,000, depending? I don't know. We'll do that in the next episode. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It'd be yeah. funny. Yeah. <clears throat> Cody yeah, when's that dropping? In a couple weeks. Oh, yeah, you banked it. I'm, I'm banked, man. I'm banked till the end of October. Wow. And I keep snowballing. Snowballing? What do you mean? Like, you keep... Like, I let... All right. <laughs> yeah, I heard snow and all of a sudden I'm like, what? <laughs> I didn't even mean that. See, you just told on yourself. I was talking I'm about- just playing into the joke. What joke? It's a joke. It's not funny to joke about your personal problems. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. It's not a joke, man. You need help. <laughs> <sighs> Look, I just bought us two tickets to recovery day. All right, stop fucking around. No, um... For everyone wondering what the fuck we're talking about with snowballs, I'm not talking about cocaine. Uh, we're talking about YouTube videos. I to me, it's like a snowball, and I just keep like adding to it, and it's rolling. Like the content snowball. Yes. Or okay. I'm just, I've, <clears throat> I'm not precious anymore. Yeah. If I see something, I'm like, I'll shoot something. I've shot plenty and I've killed it. So, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm trying to make a lot of different things. Like you've shot stuff and not used it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, it's been a, it's been a time. Hmm. I'm just going You're crazy till the end of October. So that's four, or do you have multiple per week? I got like two per week. Do so you have eight videos right now shot? How many? What are you shooting? I just do days where I'm like, we're doing three. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. Yeah, I'm doing two on Wednesday. <clears throat> I'm thinking hey, about what are you doing Wednesday? I can't because I'm doing. I You're something. working out for 20 minutes. Yeah, you got to work out for I 30 can't. seconds? Uh, yeah, I got... I got, got a 30 second I got polo pra I got polo practice. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to drive to India and do... Yeah. <laughs> I just joined a polo league, so... Yeah, I got to fucking drive... Like, I got to ride a canoe out to the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Philippine Islands and I... Yeah, I'm going squirrel suiting. Got it. Yeah. Just for 30 seconds, though. Yeah. What are you doing Wednesday? That's my scuba day. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Online shopping rocks. It's easy and convenient to get the things you need, but it's not as easy to save money while online shopping. It is not. And it's not because you got to search for coupon codes and most of them just don't even work. Mm -hmm. But now, thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button appears. Honey.com. <laughs> and all you have to do is click apply coupons. You just wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. Uh, if Honey finds a working coupon, you'll just watch the prices drop. I love using Honey. 
It saves me money all the time. Tech, surf stuff, even food. It's super easy to use. The other day I saved $20 while buying new clothes just with a touch of a button. Mm. Honey doesn't just work on your desktop, it works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out and by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid brick and supporting this show. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash TMG. That's joinhoney.com slash TMG. People would believe no, you, I'm, though. I'm recording on Wednesday. Recording what? We're recording every day this week. What are we doing Wednesday? I doing... Oh. What time? Like 11 to... Probably 11. Yeah, I'm just saying, I got a... I got a certified banger. Do you? Like guaranteed. Really? If you pull up. <laughs> a certified banger? Certified. Well, now you're speaking I'm, my language. I'm hyping it up a little bit, but I think I have a feeling. What do you think? I don't know. He doesn't even know what it is. <laughs> I, don't know what it is. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I, have a, I think I have a certified banger. Okay. You're recording from 11 to 11? I'm down. No, no, no. I just said 11-ish. 11 to, I was like, I don't know, maybe one probably. Because like, I don't know. But, um, okay, I'm down. But no talking about 9-11. Okay, fine. <laughs> if, you want to talk, if you want to hear about 9-11, that's <laughs> your fault, dude. I know it's corny for me to sit here and say, I got a certified banger. But I just think, I think it would satisfy the people in a way that they have been craving. Okay. I'm down, always down to satisfy. Satisfy the people? I'm always down to satisfy the people. I'm just saying, I think it will make you... Cringe. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm down. You're gonna watch this, and you very well may say that. That's cringe. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> I'm definitely down. <laughs> but don't go too hard on your Wednesday early recording, because you're gonna need to save a little bit of gas. Okay. We're doing it after. Yeah, we do it after. Okay. Well, All we right. could. Yeah, we figure it out. All right, I'm down. I'm down to quote unquote cringe once again. But you know, you know, no, uh, you don't have to jinx it. But I'm just saying, I think it'll fuck you up. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm positive you've never seen this before. Really? Yes. It's a deep cut? It's not that deep. It's <clears throat> deep ish. But I saw it, and it, for the first time in a while, I thought, ooh, this right here back to back? <clears throat> fuck yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Down. <laughs> it it in my opinion it's a uh, it's one of those ones. So yeah. We'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. You know, we don't let's knock on some wood. <laughs> Ow. Damn. <laughs> What's this uh AI perfect woman? Actually, I will say this. Some we were at brunch yesterday and this like table of people were walking by and they recognized me and they were like, yo, girl defined. I was like, it's been like five years. Five years. <laughs> and people are still saying that shit. Bro. It, people that, do that fucking series. Yeah. I don't know. It'll follow us forever. Oh yeah. People at shows will will shout shit and I'll go, what? You, what? And they'll repeat it. I'll go, what are you talking about? <laughs> and they'll go, ooze from and they'll quote some like random that's cringe video and I'll go, Dude, that was five years ago. <laughs> I don't remember that. I love you, man, but I don't remember that at all. The roles are reversed in that case. You're the guy that's like, wait, what? Yeah. What? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> Kamu powder. <laughs> what? I don't remember that. I don't remember that, bro. I think it's like, oh. <clears throat> yeah. He doesn't remember. All right, what's his AI perfect woman tweet? <laughs> this other guy in the image. Oh, this is the funniest yes, shit. You yeah. brought this up originally, like seeing other people's mid-journey. Dude, let me just harp on this again. Yeah. When you sign up for mid-journey, okay, this is one of those AI art image creation platforms. If you've not heard of us talk about it before. When you sign up for the free version, you create a Discord account and you go in a big channel and you just put in whatever you want to see. And from the outset... I thought this is uncomfortable because, you know, what if you type something weird or you're just seeing other people's shit? But it didn't even take that long before I, it was just streams of anime girl 
big, you know, breast, all yeah. that shit. So here we go. Uh, <clears throat> this tweet says, this other guy in the image generation channel has been trying to generate his perfect woman for the past four hours. <laughs> Adding more prompt details every time and every single time comes out like this. Desirable, gorgeous <laughs> woman in her... Wait, wait, let's put it... Can we do dramatic lighting? <clears throat> Desirable, gorgeous <laughs> woman in her 50s enjoying a pint at the... Oh, he's English. Desirable, gorgeous woman in her 50s enjoying a pint at the pub. Four stools down, no one in between us, push. Wearing thin white gauze, blouse tailored for a very close fit. On buttons, black, yummy cut, push up bra, what? thin white gauze, mini skirt, <laughs> tailored for a very close fit, garter, fishnet hose, high heels, long straight hair. This is creepy, bro. Yeah, now it got creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, long straight hair? Oh, creepy. No, I was like kind of getting ahead there. Redhead with large bust, narrow waist, wide hips, <laughs> trim, fit, body, curvy. Full lips, very little makeup. Dude, this nice is... muscular legs, legs crossed, smiling, <laughs> back to the counter, leaning back on counter, propped up on elbows, revealing skin, side profile view, ultra wide angle lens, hyper realistic, 3D render, aspect ratio 9 8. That, that's, what? The, that's the prompt. Why 9 8? And wait, let's do a little image reveal here. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> there she is. Couldn't you just like go to OnlyFans and just hire someone? Like, yo, you're kind of my type. Can you like get on a green screen and pretend to be at a bar and like talk some shit to me? Put on some white. Put on in a God. white tail. Yeah, she's like, yeah, bet two hundred. <laughs> yeah. Dude. This is horrific, bro. Oh my god. Dude, what was the what was the AI monster that we were looking at last time? Uh lobe. Lobe. It's just lobe. <laughs> <laughs> He's like mid beat off. Yeah. Oh yes, it's done. Scrolls down. <laughs> oh god, not again. <laughs> lobe. <laughs> She's like, stop jerking off. Yeah, put your cock away. <laughs> this is nuts, man. Also, like, not realistic at all. Yeah, yeah. This her face is melting. Scroll up, mid, like mid mid prompt again. Like, do you think it like even so get this, any of the leg shit? Yeah, are her legs in the image at all? <laughs> <laughs> so he's working on this for four hours, which means that like, you know, he got to oh, a point where he's still on it. Oh, come on now. Yeah, open that one. <laughs> oh lord! Can we zoom into the image? So what did he? Oh my god! <laughs> Desirable, attractive, older woman. <laughs> I love older women. I love older women. <laughs> A little bit of cringe inside baseball yeah, for you. Yeah, exactly. He's still on. We got any more? So like, wait. Go to the prompt again. It's just funny at a certain point, like two hours in. If it's not getting it. Two hours in, he he got to a point where he was like, this is almost it, but, you know, her legs aren't muscular enough. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's put that. <laughs> and every time you got to wait, like, at least three minutes. Yeah. For these to finish. He's smashing through these, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus oh, wait, Christ. But she's not leaned back far enough on the counter. Can we also, do that? the AI just completely gave up side profile view nope ultra wide angle lens nope back to counter nah weird leaning back on counter nah, nah you're weird bro not doing that one either <laughs> hyper realistic i'm good <laughs> i'm good sorry dude yeah it's the best we could do what the hell <laughs> so funny to have treat ai like a like a caricature painter in venice yeah this is supposed to be this sentient impressive thing yo get a like paint a picture of me like a hot chick <laughs> oh. not like that <laughs> nah legs more muscular than that nah more busty man 
No, draw the bust bigger. Make the boobs bigger. I said milky jugs. Did you not hear me say milky jugs? Oh, my fucking God, dude. <laughs> I love that the one after is even further away from what he wanted. Yeah. This one? Yeah, that's just like someone's grandma. Like. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> don't even don't. <laughs> I mean, is she working Ralph's or what? Cause, I mean, those are some bags, dude. Bags full. Uh, she, she got groceries in those things? Or like, what's good? Because the bags are full, dude. Is this what they mean by old bag? Because if so, I'm down. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, this shit is actually, every time I see a dude send that, I'm thinking, Mid Journey has to like, send these guys somewhere. Like a list. Yeah. Oh, dude, I found a subreddit. Uh, Internal, or I mean, Stable Diffusion, not safe for work. Have you seen that? I mean, I know Stable Diffusion, you can literally put anything. Yeah, I was doing a shit ton of work with... Did I show you this? No. Look at this. I made this for a potential video. Come on. Where are you? Come on, 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 come on. Digging through their phone now. What? Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, go through your phone, dude. Hurry it up. Taking too long. I just had it on here. What the fuck? Everyone's bored. I know. You're ruining the podcast. How did I just show it to... On your photos. Yeah. I... You know the photos app? <laughs> Ryan wanted to make sure you... It's in your photos. Photo it's in your phone, dipshit. You ever tried the Check photos your phone. app? P-H-O-T-O. <laughs> -O. Try searching it, dude. Oh, my God. Can I just think for one second? Yeah, no, man. Take your time finding it. <laughs> Is that a TikTok? No, it's just, you know. Here, I found it. Oh, did you? Okay, yeah. one sec. I don't want to play it on the screen because I might use it for a video, but. Okay, let's let's see it. I just want to get Noel's reaction. Sure. So this was originally a video of me. Hi, I'm Magnus Carlson, and it's official. Devin Townsend sucks at chess. And then I made, I made him a zombie. I did that all with Stable Diffusion, Absinthe, and uh, so Stable Diffusion has a setting called Image to Image. Have you heard yes, about that? Yes, yeah, I've heard about that. So you can like upload a reference image, and then it'll try to make, and then there's, a set, there's basically a setting where the resulting image will look um, like as similar as you want it to the original image. Got it. Based on whatever you set it at. So it'll like, you know... Like, I basically uploaded a video of myself, or I took a video of myself, took out a keyframe, uploaded it to Stable Diffusion, made myself Magnus Carlsen as a zombie. Yes. <laughs> and then exported that image, used EbSynth to overlay that on top of the original video, so it looks like it's animating. And then I use another service to change my voice. Identity theft, man. Cool. <clears throat> yeah. No, no. That's actually sick. It's fucking crazy. So anyways, I, as I was on the Stable Diffusion subreddits, I found Stable Diffusion not safe for work because apparently they all like stable diffusion is the only, only one that you can like run on your own machine. Yes. And so they have, once you do that, then you can, you don't have like a, you know, safety filter on. Yeah. So people just started using that to make tons of like, you know, porn basically. Yeah. No, that's badass. I made an image of a go-kart. <laughs> Did you actually make that? Yeah. I was just doing that to be annoying, but yeah, I was trying to see if I could teach it. That's awesome. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. I just kept, this is a mid journey, obviously, but I just kept running the prompt to see if the AI that's beautiful would try to like start to put it together. It was kind of interesting. It started really fucked up and wrong. Like, uh, wait, wait, three, two, one. It was like this originally. Oh wow! But I kept running the same prompt. Oh, okay. And just eventually, it started to like put them together, and then I have it do variations, and then run it again, and then it landed on that, which I thought was kind of interesting. Man, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. It's so cool. So much fun to fuck around with this stuff right now. I'm Magnus Carlsen, and I was the one cheating. <laughs> yeah. That chess match. I was wearing the vibrating cheating dildo. <laughs> ass anal beads or whatever. That theory is so crazy. Yeah. Because <clears throat> if a thing is deep enough in your ass, you're going to be like bricked up. <laughs> Like that's like that's anatomically. Maybe he was fifty fifty. Maybe he was. 
And that's why he had to leave? Yeah. That's why he lost so fast? Yeah. He's just like, oh. <laughs> just like sets himself up to lose. Good game. <laughs> yeah, I resign. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe that's why he resigned. He was like, I'm going to cheat. And that shit started like the, <laughs> he felt the first vibration. Because, you know, it, tells, it vibrates telling you what to do. Yeah. He felt the first one. was like, mm, mm, mm. He's like, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Woo! But it wasn't Magnus. It was the other guy. No, I know. Yeah. That's how you know that other guy's a pro cheater. Yeah. You can just stomach it. Yeah, yeah. Shake away in there, pal. Yeah. It means nothing to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did you see his interview? Um... After it happened, he's like, how do you feel about... All right, let's do this, and we'll go into the bonus episode. This shit is so funny. What's the dude's name? Hans, Hans Neiman, <clears throat> post interview. We're kind of late to this, but it's fine. This walk-off is... I mean, this, this to me... When I saw this, I'm like, nah, he won. Hans did? Yeah, and I'm like, this guy is a fucking G. <laughs> it's, this dude is... The confidence is oozing, dripping. Now, you're going to be inclined to make a Jack Harlow joke. <laughs> Why? Uh, yeah, just do like Hans Neiman post interview. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Watch this. Watch this. What a result. Phenomenal, right? Phenomenal. What a result. Yeah, you said what it, David. What a result. Incredible wow. start to the day for Hans Niemann, the lowest rated player in the tournament with the black pieces, a win against world Han number see, one. Wait. You see how fast Hans is walking out? Yeah. That yeah. thing is in his ass. Look at this. <laughs> look, look, you said look it, at him. David. Incredible oh, start oh, to oh, the day. That's Max. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He got up. So, whatever like camera system he has, like reading the board, is like malfunctioning because it can't like find chess pieces. Yeah. So, it's just beeping like, yeah. A line chess board with lens. That's why he lost. It was too intense and he put the he put his pieces in in the wrong place. Now watch this. And now I'm curious to hear some reactions from Hans in Miami. Hans, yesterday was a terrible uh, day for you and today you start out with a masterpiece. How would you summarize it? Chess speaks for itself. Is it something special oh, doing this again? Oh, mic <laughs> nah. Nah, that ass is clean. <laughs> Chess speaks for itself. <laughs> so you'd think that he actually won. That type of confidence, ain't no way you were hacking. Yeah. There's no way. Because hmm. then, you know, he like he came out and said, he's like, oh, like I'll play naked. Did he say that? Because Pete, yeah, he, he offered. He's like, I'll play fucking naked. You can have anal beads in. And be naked. And He's no saying he'll know. play ass naked. He'll I know, but I'm saying the, the theory was that he had it's something in his ass. Yeah, but he'll AC Slater it. What do you mean? He'll turn the chair around. <laughs> he bend over. These are his words. <laughs> he said, boy, I will AC Slater that chair. <laughs> I will lean over and, and put my rosebud at the tip of the chair. <laughs> and there could be a I will, camera. I will, yeah, before, I will goat see. Yeah. Try me, man. I will goat see the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Hard as hell. So I think he he won that. <clears throat> yeah, I think there are people saying that he did. He is like legitimately better, but then there's also like he has cheated in the past, and I don't really know the full story, but he's cheated in the past, and it was like this weird thing where he said he studied, uh, he studied Magnus's line, but in Magnus's entire like online history, he's played that line once ever. So yeah, it's just. It's chess things. Chess speaks for itself. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gang. Uh, we'll see you in the bonus. Listen, if you have a problem with God, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Okay. And there's gonna be no 9/11 talk in the bonus. And get so. the f yeah. So we'll see you later. <laughs> this week on the Bone Zone, you're officially married. Yeah. This fall, two people from different parts of life meet the Millers. <laughs> you want to meet the. You want to come here? You want to meet the pussy? I might fuck around and head down to Toontown and get me some rabbit head. You feel what I'm saying? Watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at tmgstudios.tv. <laughs>